Hi kids. Okay, on this day in film history for September 28th. Try to keep this brief, but we'll see. Sometimes I ramble. Uh, so September 28th, 1916 is the birth of Peter Finch, one of those uh, bird named actors like uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, Russell Crowe, Gregory Peck. Anyways, uh, Peter Finch uh, died in 1977. He's 60 years old. Uh, died of a heart attack. Uh, he was British-born actor. Um, passed around a bit as a youth. Uh, there was a custody dispute. Uh, his father, turns out, was not biologically his father. Uh, raised by grandparents. Um, spent some time uh, being raised in a Buddhist monastery in India and then when he was about 10 years old uh, he was sent to Australia to be raised by his uncle um, so that's why during World War II he served in the Australian Army stayed in Australia for a bit after that uh, worked in Australian radio uh, as an MC a producer writer an actor appeared on stage and in films in Australia and then he went to the UK uh, same thing there on in film and on stage uh, became friends with uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier and his wife Vivian Lee uh, maybe more so with his wife Vivian Lee because the two of them had an affair uh, rose to international fame recognition when he co-starred with Audrey Hepburn in the nun story 1959 uh, is most well known for Network. Uh, even if you haven't seen Network, you've probably heard his I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. You probably felt that way too. Uh, that was his second Academy Award nomination for Network. Uh, first one was for Sunday, Bloody Sunday. Uh, he would go on to win the Best Actor for Network. Uh, the first person to win an Academy Award after they had passed. The ceremony didn't happen until after he had had a heart attack, passed. Uh, and then and I think he's the only person until Heath Ledger, and now there's been a few. Uh, anyways, okay, let's move on to September 28th, 1948, is the death of Greg Poland, cinematographer. Uh, regarded by very many as possibly, probably the greatest or definitely the greatest of uh, the time period in which he worked. Uh, worked in films from 28 till his passing, 48. Uh, he died at, I think it's 44 years old, or 1904. He died of a heart attack, just like Peter Finch. Uh, so 28, 48. Worked film for 20 years. In those 20 years, he was nominated for Best Cinematography six times. He is known for his deep focus, uh, his lighting techniques. That deep focus is uh, evident in things like Citizen Kane. Uh, Citizen Kane would probably not be as brilliant as it is without the expertise of Greg Poland. Also worked on the best years of our lives, and Grapes of Wrath. So uh, when you have people like John Ford and Orson Welles, William Wyler seeking you out, you're the top of the biz. Uh, and then finally, 1964 is uh, the death of Harville Marx, uh, the second oldest of the Marx brothers, Chico Harpo. Uh, he was born in eight. 1988, so he was 75 years old when he passed. Uh, he passed away following heart surgery. It's heart day, apparently. Um, Harpo, of course, is the uh, silent member of the Marx Brothers. He's also the one, if you couldn't guess, who plays the harp. Uh, and he's got the horn. Um, Self-taught, mostly, for playing the harp. And if you want to see Harpo and you haven't uh, really watched any of the Marx Brothers, you can watch him in the Coconuts or Animal Crackers, um, Monkey Business, you know, animal-named films, Duck 
Soup is also the Queen album titles, right at the opera, at the races. Anyways, uh, that is it. Five minutes, wow. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. See you tomorrow.